So iMessage is getting two new awesome features that people are going to absolutely love. Now with this video, I'm gonna go over the pros and the cons because I've had a lot of friends and family members ask me about this new update. So the questions that they had, I have to imagine there are people out there in the YouTube world that have those same questions. So hopefully this video will help navigate through those concerns and shed some light on it. So let's get right into it. So hey, what's up? My name is Roy. I do phone reviews, case reviews, tech reviews, you name it. So if you like this type of content, I do hope you consider to subscribe. So like I was just saying, iMessage is getting two new awesome features. So feature number one is the ability to edit iMessages. So once you send an iMessage and you sent it out and you instantly realize that you misspelled a word or something, or if you're like me, you do a lot of voice texting and Siri and Apple just really doesn't do that great of a job with voice texting, uh, then you can actually go in and edit those messages like that misspelling never happened. So that is an awesome feature that you're able to do because like I said, you definitely wanna make sure that those people that you're sending the message to think that you actually know how to spell. Now, number two is the ability to just completely delete a message if you want to delete a message. So once you send the message, which I know I've been in that situation where I've typed out a message, I'm staring at it and I'm thinking, is this gonna be awesome or is this gonna really suck after I send this message? And then at the end of the day, I sent it and then I instantly regretted it and there's no way to turn back time to delete that. Well, now iMessage is giving you that ability to delete that message like it never happened. So with these two features, these are huge, these are awesome, but there's some major catches with this new update and that's what I wanna talk about now. So number one is, is that you need to have iOS 16. If you don't, then you can't use these features. So you definitely need to make sure when iOS 16 comes out that you have the update. The other catch is that the person that you're sending the message to also needs to have iOS 16. So if you're sending this to a friend who just absolutely hates updating their phone, for example, like my wife, she hates it when new updates come out, um, then you are going to be in that weird category where you send a message to them and then it's not going to work. So make sure that if you are sending that regrettable text or that misspelled mess, then you definitely need to make sure they have iOS 16 because that's the only way this is going to work. So the other part of that is that with iOS 16, you need an iPhone that actually can update to iOS 16. So if you have a friend or family member who does not have an iPhone 8 or newer, then they can't get iOS 16. So if they have anything below iPhone 8, they are stuck with iOS 15 or whatever iOS that was capped on that particular iPhone. So that's a huge thing to think about, guys. You gotta make sure that they have iOS 16 and that they have a newer iPhone. The other part of it is just to remember that it has to be iMessage. So if you're sending a message or a text to a friend that's got an Android device, then they're still going to send. This is only for iMessage. So that's something that a friend of mine asked was, hey, if I send it to a friend that's got Android, is it still gonna give me that ability? And it's not gonna work for an SMS text, only for iMessage. So definitely keep that in mind if it's a green or a blue bubble. And the other major part to this formula is that there is a time frame of that regrettability. So what I mean by that is after you send this message, you have a max of 15 minutes to make that correction. So when you go into that app, if it's past 15 minutes, you will not be able to edit that message or delete that message. So definitely make sure that you do that in the time frame that's allotted because once you pass it, there's no going back. So that's it guys. Those are kind of the pros and cons with iMessage's new update when it comes to iOS 16. Let me know down in the comments if these are message updates that you are welcoming or you absolutely hate. Uh, but at the end of the day, I really do feel like these are two cool features that's just giving you the ability to turn back time just a little bit if you accidentally sent a text that you shouldn't or not a text, an iMessage, uh, or if you sent something that was just completely misspelled. Um, so it just is a nice feature to be able to clean up your messages a little bit. Uh, and then also let me know if you do plan to update to iOS 16. I have the developer beta on my phone, so I'm able to use this feature. 
but most of the people I know don't have iOS 16 beta. So yeah, I can't really take advantage of these right now. So there you go, guys. If you liked the video, I hope you do consider to hit that like button. I do hope you consider to subscribe, like I said earlier, and do ring that notification bell for up-to-date content as I release it. So be safe, God bless, I'll see you on the next one.